Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome to another PyQD5 tutorial video. My name is Jay. In this lesson, we are going to learn how to implement the image drag and drop effect in PyQD5. So in the center, uh, we have this uh, demo application and this is the exercise we'll be doing in this video. If I take my mouse and drag one of the image, so I'll drag this uh, light bulb image on top of my window. And if I look at my mouse, my application is going to identify the file I'm drag and dropping. It's an image file. And it's going to accept the image file and just place the image file on the window. Now if I take a different image and do the drag and drop, the existing image is going to get replaced. And this is the feature we'll be implementing in this video. Now let me close this window and we can get started. First, I'm going to import my libraries. I'll import the system module, the OS module from the pyqt widgets module I'll input a qapplication class qwidgets qlabel and qfeedboxlayout class Oops. and from the qt core module I'll input a qt class and lastly from the qt GUI module I'll input a QPix map class. And here I'm going to construct my Q application instance. And I'll create my, so here let me create my app demo class. And I'll pass the Q widget class as the parent class. And I'll set my window size to 400 by 400. And to allow your application to accept any outside signal, we need to set the set drop drops value to two. So we'll set this uh, setting to two. And right here I'll create my main layout object. And it's gonna be a Q for the code box layout. And also need to set the layout with the main layout object. So to display an image, we can use the Q label class. But there are some things that we need to. There are some configuration we need to do uh, to the Q label class. So here I'll create a class and service our Q label class replacement, and we'll pass the Q label as the parent class. So I want to set some default uh, settings and values. So the first uh, setting is the set picks map. So this is a method that I want to implement to my uh, Q label class. So in this case will be my image label class. And I want to have an image parameter. And from super, I want to set the picks map with the image arguments. And now let's go back to the initialize uh, method. So here I want to set my alignment to the center. So I'll use I'll take the QT class. I reference the align center member. And by default, I want to uh, insert text. So let's do. So I'll say, drop image here. I'll insert two extra uh, line. I also want to uh, insert the border. Remember when you saw the dash border? That was actually created using CSS. So here I'll, I'll use the set style sheets method. And I'll set my CSS to Q label class. And it's going to be, so I'll set the border to four picks and with dash followed by the color. So I'll just use a uh, light gray color. And that should be it. Now let's go back to the app demo class. 
and I'll create my instance of the image label class. And I'll name the instance photo viewer. It's equals to Q. It's equals to image label. And I want to add this uh, object to our main layout object. Now I'll just take a look at the window real quick. Oh, so I forgot one thing. So here I forgot to create my uh, app demo instance. So I'll name the instance demo. And here I'll do demo.show to display the application. And here I'm getting a type here. So let me just take a look. Oh, so here I need to reference this, the self uh, reference. All right now, so here's our, our interface. Inside the window area, we have our drop image here uh, label. And outside we have our dash border. So this uh, dash border. Now we have the interface. We just need to create our uh, drag and accept uh, effect. So usually when you want to create drag and drop effects, there are three events that you need to implement. So the first one is the drag enter event. And the second event is the drag move event. And the last one is the drop event. So these three events go together when you want to implement the drag and drop feature. Now let's go back to the drag enter event. So here we need to accept the signal. So here we can say from events, mime data. And if the, so if the signal is an image, so we want to use the has image. If the signal object is an image file, they want to accept the event. Otherwise, we want to ignore. And we can take this block of code and just copy paste to the drag move events. Now let's go to the drop events. So here we'll also, also do something very similar. So we'll first validate whether or not if the signal object is an image file. Has image. So we're going to say that if the mime data received has an image, then we want to set the, the drop action to Qt copy action. So this should be events. And I want to grab the file path. So events, my data, dot URLs. And I want to grab the first items uh, file path. So if you are dragging multiple files, let's say you are placing uh, multiple image files. I just want the first image file. I'll take the first item, dot to local file. And once I have the, the image file path, I can use the set image method to set the, the file path. And the set image method is actually a function. So here let me create a function. So set image. I want to have a file path parameter. And we'll simply take the photo viewer and that set pix map. And we'll set the image using the QPixMap class and followed by the image file path. Now let's go back to the drop events. And once that's done, so we need to accept the events. And otherwise, we'll ignore the events. And I think that's it. And yep, that's everything. Now if I launch my application, now if I drag one my image and over, and here, oh, so you have a typo. This should be capital D. Let me try again. So if I take my image and just drag to my application, and now this window will take my image and display my image. Now if I take a different image, this uh, light bulb image, the existing image will get replaced. Now if I take a different file that is not image file, so let's say I'm taking my Python file, if I do the drag and drop, 
and nothing will get displayed. So this is everything I'm going to share in this video and hopefully you guys found the video useful. And as always, thank you guys for watching, I'll see you guys on the next video.